This video introduces the basic concepts and requirements for using BioVis Connect. BioVis Connect is our all-new website linking the genomic visualization of the integrated genome browser with the cloud storage of Cyverse. Before we get started on covering the basics of BioVis Connect, we need to first talk about the integrated genome browser and Cyverse. The integrated genome browser, or IGB, is a free open source desktop genome browser. The big advantage to using IGB over other genome browsers is that you have immense control over how you load your data. IGB features fluid zooming, allowing you to smoothly zoom into regions of interest or zoom out to view an entire chromosome. IGB supports all the major genomic data formats, such as from RNA-seq, ChIP-seq, and whole genome sequencing studies. File formats supported include aligned sequence files, such as BAM or SAM, annotations such as GFF or BED, graph data such as BigWig or BedGraph, and study-specific data such as NarrowPeak, for example from ChIP-seq studies. IGB has built-in support for over 60 reference genomes, including gene annotations. You can also load your own custom genomes and gene annotations if they are not already in IGB. If you have any questions or issues, please reach out to us by going to biovis.org and clicking Get Help in the nav bar. To download IGB, go to biovis.org. Click the Install IGB button in the top right. Then select your operating system. We support Mac, Windows, and Linux. This will download the IGB installer. Once the download is complete, open the installer. Follow the installer instructions to complete the installation of IGB. You are now ready to start IGB. The Cyverse Discovery Environment is a web interface for cloud computing and storage. Discovery Environment accounts offer 100 gigabytes of data storage and can be expanded as needed. You can upload data to store or share with your collaborators, and you can run analyses on data using built-in apps. In order to use the Cyverse Discovery Environment, you need to create an account first. These accounts are free, you do not need to pay for them. To create an account, go to user.cyverse.org and click Sign Up. It will ask you for some information, such as your name and email, along with some general demographic information, such as where you work. Once your account has been created, you can go to de.cyverse.org de to log in to the Discovery Environment. So now that you have downloaded and installed Igby, as well as created your Cyverse account, we are ready to explore BioVis Connect. First off, you will need to log into BioVis Connect by going to connect.bioviz.org. Use your Cyverse username and password to log in. Note that authentication is handled through the Cyverse OAuth2 authentication service. This acts as a single sign-on, similar to how you can sign in to multiple sites using your Google or Facebook credentials. BioVis Connect does not see or have access to your password and you will never need BioVis Connect credentials. Everything is handled with your Cyverse account. On logging in to BioVis Connect, you will see your Cyverse files and folders. BioVis Connect uses a modern web interface modeled after common cloud storage sites. Navigate folders by double-clicking on them. You can organize each page by name, last modified, or size, and you can search for specific files or folders using the search bar at the top. The aim of BioVis Connect is to make a seamless experience for viewing your Cyverse data in Igby. Files that can be viewed in Igby will have a View in Igby button next to them. With Igby open, clicking View in Igby in BioVis Connect will load that file into Igby. If Igby is not open, you should get a prompt telling you to open Igby. Note that files must be public in order to view in Igby. If a file is not public, then you will receive a prompt asking if you would like to make it public so that it can be viewed in Igby. If you would like to make a file private, right-click on the file and select Manage Link. This will open a right panel where you can select to remove or create public links. To make the experience of viewing files in IGB even easier, files can have IGB specific metadata added to them. This metadata is then used when viewing the file in IGB to load the correct genome version, set the track color for the file, and to customize the track name. Open the metadata panel by right clicking on a file and selecting metadata. Use the drop down menus to select genome and version. Note that these are the default genomes and versions available in IGB. Once you have finished making all of your changes, make sure to click Save to save the changes. You can also run analyses on select file types. We are currently prioritizing analyses that produce output for viewing in IGB. For example, right-clicking and selecting Analyze on a BAM file will provide two options. The first is for creating a genome-wide coverage graph, and the second for creating a scaled genome-wide coverage graph. Both are very useful for RNA-seq or ChIP-seq experiments, as an example. Once an analysis job has been submitted, you can check on its status in the analysis history in the left panel. 
There you can see information for every job run and their status. Once an analysis job has been completed successfully, click on the job name to go directly to the output file. Now I would like to spend some time talking about the technical side of BioViz Connect. BioViz Connect is possible because Cybris has created a powerful application programming interface, or API, called Terrain. The Terrain API endpoints give BioViz Connect access to all of the functionality of the discovery environment, such as searching for files, adding metadata, and running analyses. BioViz Connect is implemented using the Django framework. On the back end, we are making authenticated calls to the various Terrain API endpoints to retrieve information or to submit jobs. We also have a MySQL database to store information about which apps can be used with which files. We deployed BioViz Connect on Amazon Web Services using Ansible playbooks. You can find the open source code for BioViz Connect at our Bitbucket repository. In summary, the goal of BioViz Connect is to make it as easy as possible to view your cybers data in Igby. BioViz Connect shows how to connect a desktop application, i.e. Igby, to a web-based application, i.e. Cybers, using APIs. And in terms of novelty, BioViz Connect is one of the very first websites to use the Terrain API. This work was carried out by the Lorraine Lab at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte with a lot of help and support from the Cybers team. This project is funded through the National Institutes of General Medical Sciences. Thank you for watching.